Hello and welcome. My name is Sonia Gavan Karmake, and you and I are on Earth. However, we are connected live right now with two folks who are not. Peggy, it's always great to see you. This time I'm going to ask you, where are you over Earth? Where am I over Earth? Hey, Shook, can you come give me a hand? <laughs> Let's figure out where we are. Peggy. <laughs> Hi, Shooks. Hi. Good to, Good to see, see you. you. Where are we? Where are you over Earth? Uh, let's say this is GMT 189, 15th orbit of the day, and it is already 13 days dark. So uh, I guess we should be passing somewhere at the tip of South America. Did you just do all of that in your head? No, I just looked at the map. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Come prepared. I appreciate that. That is fantastic. Well, we have just a little bit of time and I wanted to, you know, kind of understand what your day has been like. I know the schedule has been full. Uh, do you have any downtime? Do you get any downtime on station? Actually, uh, we had one brief day off and another one coming up tomorrow because we've been up here two weeks now. So, and we're thrilled. <laughs> Um, Shooks, what about your downtime? Our, oh, yeah, whatever little <laughs> I have, I do it. But it's <laughs> downtime, for sure. It is, it is a great time up here. It has been very exciting. We've been quite busy, uh, you know, doing experiments and all the activities that we had. But like Peggy mentioned, we did have one day off, and tomorrow we are go. Oh, yeah. And the fantastic thing is, whenever I have downtime, I do go out the window and take a lot of pictures. And I'm sleeping in the dragon, so I have the luxury of having two windows to myself. So I do that a lot by night. So, yeah. Well, watching Peggy's uh, necklace go makes me wonder if have you settled into the microgravity atmosphere? Do you feel totally acclimated now, both of you? Well, I do. I was acclimated when I got here. Yeah, immediately. We know Peggy. <laughs> you're, you're in your best place. I've been here a day or two before. <laughs> so all this fun. Yeah, all this past year, Peggy has been complaining that I speak too fast. I am very fast. I do a lot of things fast. And for the first few days when I came to this station, I actually became slow. <laughs> so that was my adaptation to microgravity. But I think it was initial two days. And after that, everything became normal. And right now, I think I'm very well adjusted to microgravity. Okay, well, I'm going to put day. you. I'm going to put you <laughs> on the spot. Can you show us how accustomed to microgravity you are? Is a little experiment oh, you could do for us? Oh, Just gonna float away and go get the get the things. That's fine. <laughs> Showing up on his astronaut tricks. So, but we we got we got something we want to show you. Okay. Crews were in microgravity. In case you didn't believe my <laughs> necklace or uh, flying off the ceiling, we got other things to prove we're in zero gravity. And we're gonna do this little thing with water. I Sonia, I've become a water bender here. In the station, <laughs> and I'll be with this, so you have to see this. Oh, that's so you can see the water from the ball oh, um, yeah. in zero gravity because the surface tension of the water itself is actually uh, much stronger now that we don't have gravity up here and actually holds it together. And he's got this little tool. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a water bubble moving tool. <laughs> I, think can, I can actually bring the, uh, this, 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 we can bring closer. If I can find the cam. It's, uh, Look it's at that, good. that's, yeah, it's right. like we're looking at a clear marble, but it's actually a liquid. Yep. Is that a yeah. bubble inside there? Yes, yes. Wow. a bubble inside a water bubble. I told you I have a water bender. <laughs> <laughs> you, so you really have acclimated beautifully. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, I, unfortunately, we didn't really want a bubble this time, but <laughs> we'll go ahead and take it anyway. Uh, we're going to do another little example. I've got a plastic bag here. Okay. And I'm going to just see what happens when the plastic bag comes in contact with the water. Slowly, slow. Oh, oh. But wow. Check this out. The surface tension is kind of like a magnet, grabs it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. 
it hangs on there. And what's really kind of cool is it actually is almost like a lens. So let's see oh. what you can see through the. But I'll need to show faces. Yeah, let's right down here so you can see. All those little bubbles Here's makes it look like you're also wearing polka yeah, dots. That's so where we sort of are matching yeah. today. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I also, I also have water here, and um, if you know, it's not nearly as exciting. It's <laughs> just no, not. It's <laughs> Your water is much more exciting. It, well, yeah, it's a lot more fun to play with for sure. <laughs> Well, I know that you are, um, you're doing so much work, you're doing research, you're doing STEM engagements with kids. Uh, what are you, are you ready to come home? Uh, are, do you have packing that needs to be done? What needs to still get accomplished up there? Oh, yeah, we've got the last bits of uh, all our experiments to do. Um, and we will have to pack our dragon to come home. So we have to bring all the supplies uh, the appropriate supplies home. So that'll be uh, a bit of time. That'll take probably a day or so just to get everything packed away the way properly, uh, get everything strapped down so it'll be ready for the return. Uh, so we've got a few more days of science, the final data collections, and then we'll be packing and preparing for the return. And what about that return? You now have to acclimate back to gravity. Are you ready for that? What's that like from both of you? Well, from me having experienced it, I know first person, it sucks. <laughs> Gravity really does. <laughs> and so I am not looking forward to that part. It's, you know, uh, some people get motion sick or space motion sickness and have symptoms coming uphill. And some people get it going downhill. I'm a downhill person that, where I don't really adjust as well to gravity as I adjust to microgravity. So we'll see how it's going to turn out for sure. I mean, yeah, I'm, I, I'm, uh, you know, it's first time for me, so I have no expectations of going back into gravity. Uh, the only hope is that I did have some symptoms coming up, so I'm hoping that I will not have going down for <laughs> unless and until I get burst of both the words and I get both the time, so like, you never know. Okay, well, we'll have to ask you when you're you're back in in gravity with us. In in these last yeah. couple of days, what are you really looking forward to? What are you holding on to from this experience? So uh, I think uh, there is one very strong feeling that I'm having that there are just a few days left in this mission, and obviously there are activities planned and science to be completed and everything has to be repacked. But I, my intent is to savor this as much as possible. And I try to, have whatever little time I get, I go sit by the window, uh, you know, most of the time taking pictures. But if not, just sitting by the window and looking down, uh, looking back at the Earth, uh, I I think it is the most beautiful that I have seen till date. So I, I just want to savor it as much as I can in the last few days. That's good advice, because uh, savoring every minute while we're here is important to just yes. building those memories to take home with you. Well, Shook, so I'm going to make you do more math. Since we've talked, how far have we traveled? Okay, let's see. It's 1850, and we started 1840, like 10 minutes, right? And we are moving at 17,500 miles per hour. Wow. And so that puts around 2,900 miles off from where we started. So, yeah. Uh, that Shooks. good enough? You're such you're such a show off. You're so, <laughs> it's good to see you wearing your astronaut yeah. pin. Good to see both of you. And I look forward to seeing you back when you're home very, very soon. Thanks for spending a little time with me today. All right, you take care. Well, we will. From everyone here at Axiom Space and from those in India, Hungary, and Poland, Godspeed. We will be seeing you both very soon. <laughs>